So here it is, four days on, this is my finished vegan cheese and uh, I'm very proud of it. Um, it. It looks good, I mean it, it, it feels weighty, it's got a nice sort of crust on it that you can see there, you can see where it's split. And you know, I would say it's been pretty textbook. Uh, you have to let it air dry for four days and you have to let air circulate all the way around it. Um, little tip for me, don't put it on a wire rack as I did because um, it'll sort of react with the cheese. Uh, they said to put it on a wire rack but uh, no, uh, you can see there that's, that doesn't look very nice at all. So I put it on a plastic rack for the last few days and I'll cut out that bit uh, and I'll have a taste. But should we try it now, shall we? Yeah, let's try it, okay. This is it. I am officially cutting the cheese. Ooh, some resistance there, it's not bad. Uh, oh. It's still a bit moist. Now the thing is you can leave it in the fridge for another four months before you throw it away. Um, but, and it will carry on maturing because apparently, you know, light cheese will age. Um, that's, that's the thing. Uh, it's still... <laughs> Why do I feel so nervous? <laughs> okay. Well, it smells... I think I've been so traumatised by the experience of making it that when I smell anything remotely like it now, it just reminds me of that. Alright, here we go. It's claggy. It's quite tangy. It tastes not dissimilar to food, um, but <laughs> I don't know if I... I don't know what cheese is anymore. I, it's like I, I want to know what love is. I want to know what cheese is. I don't really remember. It's not bad. I mean, I'd eat it. I'm eating it. I'll eat anything. I, it, it, it's all right. I think I'm going to let it mature a bit longer in the fridge, though, because uh, I think it's got more to give still. The outside's actually really nice, where it's kind of properly dried out and, and, and mellowed a bit. I, I, I really like it. So I'm going to take, I'm going to adhere to my principle that frying makes everything better. And I'm going to fry a bit and see what that tastes like. A little bit left over there. Because who wouldn't like fried cheese, right? See, I want to make the point that you can still be vegan and have a heart attack if you really work at it. It smells good, right? It does. It does. It's got a lovely, I tell you what's nice is the sourness, it's got a kind of quite a rich flavour and a depth there and, and you can taste on the on the kind of rind part, you can taste yeah. what it will become over time. I think I'm just being, you know, how long does it take to make cheese? It takes like 18 months or something, doesn't it? I just want it now, that's that's my trouble. I need to just calm down, be a bit more patient. The smell is great. Yeah, no, it is nice, but we're going to... Have a little cool off period before you try it. <laughs> See if I survive the night and then you can have some. With like a tomato -y salsa dip, that would be amazing. Yeah. Do you think you could bread it? Bread it and fry it? Yeah, I think you could. You could. In a way though, you sort of almost don't have to because it's not actually got very much fat content. I mean, the cashews have some oil in them, but it's actually, it's much healthier than cheese is. Mm. And and it's it's much it's got more solids in it than fat, so you can see it's kind of browning up really nice. It's not just melting everywhere. And the science of this is fascinating. You don't well, it have is to be vegan to appreciate this, especially if you don't. No, want to... and it's kind of awesome knowing that it, it's probably working on the same principles as cheese making. It, it's bacteria that are giving it the flavour. You're still mm. harnessing the same uh, principle. Try some fried cheese. Oh yeah, like a vegan Elvis. <laughs> that would be a great name for this. Episode. Oh, that is that good? It smells good. Mm. Oh, that's really good. You have to wait till tomorrow. Sorry. <laughs> Next up. I'm going to make parmesan out of soy yoghurt. Are you with me? 